If you if this in the right, the lighting is more brighter, but in the left is more lower. So it's a bit of dark but now. But now this is now the remastered version, the right. So lighting is much greater and smoother. In Times Square. Paulina is asking if you're a gamer. Are you a gamer? You can't even see Spider-Man properly. See, because in the remastered version, they intend for a darker effects. But now in the, I mean, the PS4 version, not the remastered. Because in the remastered version, they're looking for a lighter effects or bright. Because the darker, the darker effect takes on the the players or models that can even be seen. If you see in the regular version, that the fire 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 rate is much not noisier. But now in the other version, they're much noisier. Like it feel it really violent. But the sirens and spiderman's whipping are still the same. In here, they're still the same. If you look, if you look here, there are much other suits in here. See? If you see in here, if you look at your mini spider man, the fires, they're like real fires. But it's true, but the truth is, the truth is, it's been the per frames per second that the fire has been just edited there and it looks like real with the lightings the mixed bag when patrolling the streets i found that identical street corners oh, are new effects like smoke. steam rising up from manhole covers more often this volumetric smoke effect can still be found in the original game but just not as frequently there's more the effect looks pretty much exactly the same Though, considering it already looked pretty solid to begin with, this is understandable. The same is true for other effects. In this scene, we have to be quiet and listen of the sounds. Look and feel in action. Which version of the game do you prefer? I don't know, visual or accessibility. Switches. And here in graphic modes. Fidelity means you're in a 30 FPS, meaning 30 per frames in four seconds so it may be slower but if you go to performance, performance mode, mode that's like 60 frames per second so it will it will be much smoother watch the clip see? If, if if you see in the left the shadow more still in a blurry but now in the version it affects like a real life shadow blurry and unstable by characters and objects in the game world have a new soft edge to them that seems to blend into the body setting is oh, enabled. If you see in the left, there's no reflection of you, but you can see what's inside. And in the remastered version, you can see a reflection of everybody, a car, or a stopping sign. But you cannot see what's inside now. Spider-Man Remastered's ray tracing reflects a decently accurate projection of the world techniques applied to In this remastered version, you can see your reflection. And the PS4 you version, just... you can even see your reflection. But the CT does, and you, yours don't. Now that the remastered version knows what is your reflection, that's how you can see yourself in the mirror. Is Spider-Man properly reflected when clinging to the side of buildings in the old world? But thanks to the ray tracing techniques applied to the remaster. This is ray tracing, okay? It la it's tracing what your light effects are in your mirror self. A double camera. Spider-Man and the surrounding environment are much more accurately represented in reflective surfaces. If you stand in a particular building, you can see the Twin Tower, the World Trading Center. But now, we we discuss this. Before we discuss this, I have to see all sorts here.
He's texting you. No, it's in his phone. It's in here that some people do the, the, want the original water in the ocean, the water version in here. But you're saying the remastered... The water simulation looked fine the way it looked in the PS4 version. It's much flatter. So they said they hate it because it's flat. But now it appears a bit more flat. The way the water ripples also seems a bit off.